In this 90 second video, I'll explain musty odors, condensation on windows, mold on ceiling corners, and closet mold for the older slab homes that have supplied ductwork or returned ductwork under the concrete floor slabs. After World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and during the 40s to the 60s, the vets needed homes quick, so they built many smaller homes, and many of them were one story that were less expensive, which had concrete slabs instead of basements or crawl spaces. The HVAC ductwork was usually made with clay, cementitious asbestos, concrete, and other combinations. These products were not 100% sealed at their joints. Later, in the 70s and 90s, they switched to black corrugated ducts, plastic and clay, and in the 90s, they switched again to PVC and plastic using Schedule 40 and 60, which also, many times, was not 100% sealed at joints. Today, builders generally try to put the HVAC supply and return ductwork in the ceilings and in the floors and not under the concrete floor slabs because these ducts become contaminated with soil, become flooded, have condensation, permit radon gas emission, permit groundwater entry, permit odor from soil, stone, and permit amplifying fungal reservoirs. This is what happens. The soil around the home gets wet from poor grading or poor land rain runoff, overflowing gutters, melting ice dams, irrigation sprinkler heads that are too close to homes, excavations from wildlife, tree roots growing into storm sanitary or drain tile, poor draining soil, and much more. These conditions cause hydrostatic pressure, which permits water to enter into the homes under the slab HVAC ductwork. Many times, this condition goes unnoticed for long periods of time. Occupants battle mold in closets, mold on ceiling corners, condensation on windows, rusting registers, flooded under slab ductwork, and house musty odors. If you add a few carpets and a few pets, you get asthma, and everybody in the home gets flu-like symptoms. Initial repairs such as water management, damp proofing, waterproofing, underslab duct repair, adding sub pumps can sometimes make this problematic condition more passive. Generally, you have to abandon these water damaged, rusted, cracked, and underslab duct work. You have to fill them in with concrete and redirect the ducts into the walls and ceilings. If you have other house problems with stains, moisture mold, noise, cracks, material failures, structural, or any other house problem that you want solved, you can Google. Call Marco with a question. That's Marco with a K, not a C. A small $29 fee will apply. Thank you. This is Marco Volk. That's Marco with a K at www.houseinvestigations.com. Please rate and subscribe. There. It's all given, okay?